came to the conclusion that um, I took on the religion of my parents um, because they told me to. Not because I investigated it, not because I looked into it, not because I studied it, but because they told me to, right? And um, they took that on because their parents told them to and so on and so forth, right? And nobody ever um, uh, in my lineage questioned why we were Christian, right? Um, why aren't we Muslim, right? Why aren't we uh, uh, study Judaism, right? Why don't we study uh, Buddhism? Why don't we study atheists? I, whatever. It doesn't matter, right? Um, either way, um, that was never questioned, right? So, um, it is, and it's something that I taught my children, period. I taught my children about God and Christ and the whole Christian um, Christian Bible thing. I, I, I went through all of that with my children, right? And it was just something that I automatically was structured to do. And I did it just like a robot. A time on the time. I just did it. And uh, so uh, as I started learning from people who knew more than I did. And who, who grew a lot further in their life and their career than I did. And were like living the, sort of the life that I would have enjoyed living. Um, one of the things that they told me was question everything. And so uh, when I began to question uh, religion, um, everybody in my family will grew extremely uncomfortable with me doing that, right? Extremely uncomfortable. Um, and, uh, you know, from my wife to my children to everybody, you know, and, uh, so they, they were taken back by that. They were taken back by me mentioning these things out loud. So I say to you guys, when you are, uh, experimenting, trying new things, right, um, uh, working towards something that you're trying to create in your life, um, you can't always involve everybody. You can't always involve everybody because a lot of times the people that you are around, uh, whether it's your family, whether it's your children, whether it's your friends, okay, they need you to be the person who they are comfortable seeing. Right? They don't need you to change. They don't want you to change. As a matter of fact, they fight against your change. So with them fighting against your change, what it causes in you is it causes you to slow down. It causes you to not forge your head as fast as you need to forge your head, which then takes away from your most important asset, which is your time. Right? The slower you move uh, through the process of creating the life that you want, okay, the harder it will be to create the life that you want. Listen, understand this, right? Um, it is a much easier to push a boulder up a hill, right, after you've gained some speed and some momentum, right? It is a lot harder to do that when you are pushing it slowly. You know, um, when uh, many years ago, I pulled a 93,000 pound airplane by myself, right? It was a challenge. It was the, uh, it was a Special Olympics challenge and it was the lowest combined weight to uh, pull an airplane, right? And so uh, one of the things that I understood was momentum, right? And like how are you going to slightly move a 93,000 pound airplane and and one of the things that um and they had teams doing it you know teams trying to move it quicker faster uh and, and so on and so forth that further distance and and it was people winning in all those different categories and I told my team to allow me right to allow me to start off the process myself and then once I begin to move it, then one at a time we jump in, which would then contribute to the loss combined weight. So uh, um, the uh, I moved the plane on my own, got the momentum going, and then um, uh, another one of my sergeants, uh, Lieutenant Lieutenant uh, Mike Murray, uh, TAC one, uh, jumped in and and continued to pull the plane with his strength, 
and our combined strength um, was broke the record for the lowest combined weight in the state for the airplane pool and for the Special Olympics. So uh, we ended up getting this uh, ginormous six-foot-tall trophy, and uh, it was it was a uh, sight to see, and it was incredible. It was an incredible moment. But the reason why we were able to move that plane was because of momentum. Guys, momentum. So you can't always tell people what you're doing because people will tend to slow down your momentum. They will slow down your momentum. And what they will do is they will tap into your superpower. Remember before, as I talked to you guys, um, your superpower is your belief. What you believe in. What you believe in, guys, is your superpower, right? Your, your belief will cause you, all right, to create the life that you want in an instant, right? Depending on how powerful your belief is will, will actually determine how much effort you put in to create the life that you want. Belief is an amazing thing, guys, right? <laughs> A lot of people don't even believe, right, that they can start a business, let alone have a successful business. A lot of people don't believe that they can write their own book, right? A lot of people don't believe that, man. I wrote my own book. A lot of people don't believe, right, that they can have a happy and fulfilling relationship. Have a happy, fulfilling relationship. A lot of people don't believe, right, that with five children, uh, they can't still live in a nice home, Go on great vacations, okay, and live a, a very, very um, good life, right? I'm an example of that. I'm doing that, guys. And it is not because I'm more than somebody else. It's because I believe that I can do it. And through my belief, right, um, it causes me to work at things to achieve more, period. I work at things. I don't just believe and, 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 and rely on hope for things to happen for me. No, that is not how it goes, guys. When you truly believe something, right, and you truly are relying on your superpower, you put in the effort, right? You put in the effort, right? Superman doesn't fight crime through hope. He fights crime through hard work, guys. Okay, so that superpower, that belief, that cape you have on you, because you believe it, you move forward. Because you believe that you can achieve something, you begin to fight for what you want. Right? I believe a lot of things, guys. A lot of things that I can't tell a lot of people around me because they will begin to put chinks in my armor, right, and slow down my process of belief. So, so you have to surround yourself with the right people, period. You know, um, your family may not always be the right people, right? But if you begin to surround yourself with people who are, are moving forward and trying to achieve the goal that you achieve or have already achieved the goal that you, achieve, you, have, you want to achieve, then guess what? That is the group of people that will show you that your superpower belief it's not abnormal, but it's normal. It is normal, and you should constantly rely on it, okay, to help you to, to move further, to grow more, to do more, right? So um, it becomes the norm in your group or your circle of influence, your belief, your superpower, right? Um, that's just like Superman when he was on Krypton. Everybody on Krypton had the same powers. You know, they were all strong. They can all fly. They, you know, they all had the same powers. I mean, this is not comic book accurate, but um, they were all equal. Uh, you know, uh, when they came to Earth, they could fly and they were super strong and they were stronger than everybody and they were bulletproof or whatever. But on Krypton, they all had the same powers, guys. And, and it's because they had the same powers that they all attempted to achieve greatness at different levels of the things that they try to achieve, you know. So um, I'm telling you guys that you have.